Okay, so I'm just doing a video here showcasing um, the new update for Community Studio. So it should say 1.1 in the top right corner. If not, go on uh, App World and download the latest update. Um, basically what the new update brings, um, when you press a note, um, you can just drag your finger on the screen and as soon as you let go, it draws the note in. Um, if you make a mistake and you have a note drawn in a place you don't want it, all you have to do is drag the note over the exact same spot and it'll erase it. Okay. Traditionally you can still use the joysticks for a little more precision. Um, to use the joystick there's these three buttons here. Um, this one is to place a regular note. Um, the sharp note or the flat note. Um, when you're drawing it with just your finger, you're unable to use uh, sharps and flats. Okay, um, so I'll just go over a bit more of the stuff here. Um, let's see. Um, to change uh, to change channels, you'll notice this one says it's a drum kit. Uh, if you press down. Uh, we've got piano, 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 piano. Um, so there's five channels in total, zero to four. Uh, only channels one through four can actually have an instrument change. Um, you can press the instrument change button during playback as well. Uh, so for this one, I'm going to just pick the violin and then done. Um, oh, I'm drawing notes in there. Okay, um, so I'm just gonna draw. I'm just gonna draw some notes in. I'll just put a little sequence together. Uh, quicker with my finger. Turn up the volume. Okay. Okay, so you heard it play the, my drum stuff here, so I'm going to just take this stuff off. If you hit the eraser bar, it turns red, you just drag your finger over it and it'll erase it. Um, we'll go back to this channel. Okay, I'm going to change the tempo. When you go into the tempo edit, if you have, for some reason you lose your keyboard, um, sometimes you lose your keyboard. If you swipe at the bottom of your screen in the corner, it brings the keyboard back up. Uh, hit the number, uh, and we're going to put, uh, let's make this about 150 for a tempo. Okay, so now it's got the new 150 written in there. Um, okay. Um, I'm going to showcase the select, copy, and paste because a, little pe a few people are confused about that. Um, I'm going to hit select first. It should turn red. Okay. Now I'm going to select over a section of notes. Okay. Then I'm going to hit copy. Now the copy turns green to say that it's copied something. Um, then I'm going to hit paste and it plays it back right away. Um, what you want to do is you want to get this cursor where you want to paste it and then you press this button here. This, okay. Now say you want to transpose that a bit. And you can paste it in like that. Maybe we can take it down a bit. Okay, so now it sounds like this.
We can change the instrument of that. Okay, that's basically how that works. Um, again, you can go to another channel and just hit paste, and it'll start playing that sound back again. Um, to paste it, you'll press this button. Um, if you want it to just completely stop altogether, you can hit this off button, and it takes the takes the mode out. Um, to extend your song, um, to go through the pages, basically it's just these two bottom arrow keys here. Um, so if I go over a page here, so this is page two, uh, if I want the song to be extended a little bit longer, I'm going to hit song end, and it's going to drag my thumb right there. Okay, that is it. Right where I put my thumb is where the song end is going to be on. Then hit off and you've left that mode. So now, if we follow this through, and then it's on to page two where it doesn't have anything currently. All right, that's uh, my quick little tutorial here. Um, I'll create more videos as soon as I get time. Uh, thanks for watching.